everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to the tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Analyst. We are in chapter 4 and looking at the next topic is 4.2 Quality Characteristics for Business Domain Testing. And here we're talking about the next topic 4.2.3 which is Interoperability Testing. This is a new level which comes from the non-functional parameter which is being conducted in terms of understanding what is the exchange between two or more systems. Now, what does that really mean? When you talk about interoperability, which means that operations between two different systems or two different components as well, but we will not concentrate or emphasize on components because it could be also called as the component integration testing because there also you learned about having an exchange between the two components. But when you talk majorly on the interoperability, it is connecting two different products. So say for example, you have a product like a shopping cart or an online shopping system and you want to have an integration with a different, uh, you know, the payment gateway, just like PayPal or something. So you would conduct a interoperability testing on this product to, to make sure that it is compatible and able to exchange information between two different products. So one is your shopping cart like Amazon and the other one is like a payment gateway which is PayPal which is integrated to make the payments for any shopping you do online. And that's not limited, Just this is just an example. Any product which has any kind of dependency on a third party software would require an interoperability testing to be performed. Thus, when it comes to interoperability testing, testing must cover all intended target environments that where it is supposed to work, what kind of hardware it will be using, what kind of softwares or middlewares will be involved as a part of it, or even trying on the different operating systems could be a part of it. For example, you talk about operating systems than Windows, Linux, Macintosh, Ubuntu, or, or all different operating systems can also be a part of inter <coughs> interoperability testing. Similarly, you talk about different configurations of the system where it works optimum or the efficient. You even talk about the different softwares, like for example, you won't find two different antivirus compatible with each other. Thus, the exchange of the information do become a challenge there. So, when you talk about interoperability again, it relates to how different components and software system interacts with each other. So generally, if you get deeper into this, we have different APIs, different web services, which are written specially to interact with a third party software or designed to uh, you know, link with any other product. So generally, the APIs will be available for this product to exchange information which you coordinate and understand or make your system understand so that they can exchange information. Testing for software interoperability may, for example, focus on following design features. So when you talk about designing that, this is, this is the key areas which you need to target and understand before you start utilizing such features. So here are, uh, here are a few of them like use of industry-wide communication standards such as XML, so earlier, you know, previous days, XML was one of the languages. Now we have JSON, we have Shushap, a lot of things to create an industry-wide communication for integrating uh, any application. Ability to automatically detect the communication needs of the system. It interacts with the adjust uh, and adjusts accordingly. So it will be like, you know, every time the product updates, the APIs would understand or the web services would understand that what changes have taken place and how we are going to accept it or understand your product activities. So that is what is mainly interoperability testing. Further, if you try to understand more about what inter interoperability testing is all about or what their significances are. So here are a few of the things like commercial of the self software products and tools are obviously the key areas to be targeted for interoperability testing. Applications based on systems of systems that means uh, it could be third-party software like uh, uh, you have a product which generally shows the prices of different flights. Uh, then, of course, uh, they do not have direct uh, flight communications. So each flight uh, shares their APIs to these vendors so that they can showcase their flight cost or look at the availability of the uh, seats in these, these flights so that they can list off the same thing. So that is where we call it a system of systems. Systems based on Internet of Things, web services with connectivity to other systems, and similarly, all typical type of application, and not limited to only softwares, even software with hardware, 
hardware to hardware and software to software all these possibilities require interoperability testing so when you talk about embedded testing of course embedded deals with hardware and software integration where you have a hardware which will be controlled with software so you must have a interoperability testing being done there so where when when and where it is conducted generally it starts right from the component testing and mainly conducted in system testing because in system testing your product is considered to be complete from all the basic functional needs so you can begin with your interoperability executions during system testing but of course to do that all your component tests will be eligible to start with the interoperability features because the code will be written at that point of time itself so that it can interact with another system later in the life cycle at the system integration level as well this can be conducted to determine how well the fully developed system interacts with other systems because systems may interoperate on multi levels generally when you talk about like any level in the sense like uh, maybe a person is trying to log in uh, you might require a facebook login or maybe a google login so they have features like that you know when you talk about certain applications they allow you not to sign up but log in with a different account which you already own so just for example you know you talk about linkedin you have slide share which is being purchased by the linkedin so now linkedin uh, slide share allows you to log in with linkedin and many other application which you would have come across the third party software allows you to log in with some other credentials as well so that's where we talk about uh, the interoperability testing can be conducted any level because it may interact with the different product at any point of time so it may, it is free to conduct at any point of time and the test analyst here must understand these interactions that what point where the product is trying to interact with another application and make sure that those features are being designed and implemented well so that's all from this particular tutorial team we'll be getting back to you soon with the other tutorial on usability testing and we are also having a lot to understand beyond that in upcoming tutorials so stay tuned for this should you have any query feel free to comment below i'll be there to address all your queries here online till then keep learning keep understanding and keep exploring about the context thanks for watching the video team and happy learning